Hey, what is going on guys? Charlotte Tolentini here and welcome back to the channel where we take awesome out of the box. Now today, we're gonna take a look at a classic. Well, a remake of a remake of a classic. And we were lucky enough to get not one, but two review models of the Motorola Razr 5G. After a two-year hiatus, Motorola is finally coming back to the Philippines and the brand is bringing over their second-generation Razer foldable phone to make the return even grander than before. The Motorola Razr 5G is a massive improvement to the brand's 2019 efforts. In advance, I'd like to tell you guys that we were given engineering units for this video, so if you want to see some benchmarks or photos and videos taken by the phone, the actual phone's cameras, you'd have to wait for the full review coming out soon. For the pros, we got the iconic Razer design, useful and versatile 2.7-inch outer display, a solid overall design and construction, also it is 5G capable. For the cons, we got the lower resolution main display, a small battery, and it can be a bit expensive. If you've owned the original Razer phone back in the day, getting your hands on the Motorola Razr 5G will definitely feel familiar. The company has done a great job of retaining the trademark feel of their iconic phone on this model. The Motorola Razr 5G folds into a neat package when it's closed, which makes it easy to carry around in your pocket. There's a small 2.7-inch display on the outside and we'll go into more detail later. But I'll tell you guys that this is one of the features that actually makes the phone really, really awesome. The flipping action is pretty cool, though there isn't a flex mode which allows you to use the phone in a 90-degree orientation. So this can be a little bit of a bummer for some. As far as build is concerned, the phone feels rock solid despite being a foldable model. The frame is made out of aluminum, while the hinge is steel. The front and the back panel is made up of Gorilla Glass 5. Motorola promises a 200,000 fold lifespan for the hinge mechanism on their new foldable. Now that's a number that some people or well actually most people will never even reach. The phone has a fingerprint sensor in the back, which took a little getting used to, especially with the folding mechanism, but it wasn't too bad. The trademark Razer chin holds all necessary antennas for the phone, including the one for its sub 6 GHz 5G capabilities. Another neat feature is the fact that you can sort of overlay the original Razer for that extra nostalgia. Although you should note that this is sort of an app-based Easter egg and not an OS change. The phone's functionality isn't limited when it's closed, since there's a 2.7-inch outer quick view display that works as a small secondary display. That secondary display can be used for a lot of things, like checking your notifications or as a viewfinder for the rear camera for some high-quality selfies. You can even answer messages on it, since it comes with a small keyboard you can type into, and it can generally do many of the things that the main screen can as well. Now this is a really, really clever feature that we absolutely love about the phone. The main display measures 6.2 inches when fully extended and is a POLED panel with HD Plus resolution. Like many foldable phones in the market, there's a small crease at the center where the hinge lies. Now honestly, it's just one of those features that you just gotta live with if it comes to using these kinds of devices. There's a traditional notch at the top for a 20 megapixel selfie camera, which feels a little out of place nowadays considering that most phones now use punch hole notches to hold their selfie units. The Motorola Razr 5G has a 48 megapixel f1.7 main camera with OIS in addition to a 20 megapixel f2.2 front selfie camera. Honestly, we expected something more substantial for the expected price range. Now for hardware, the Motorola Razr 5G comes with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G processor along with the Adreno 620 GPU. We have 8GB RAM and 256GB storage for the device, which is good enough for a phone of this caliber. Now the choice for the processor is a little disappointing for power users looking for a flagship chipset, but there are better phones in the market if you're looking for that sort of stuff. Also, Qualcomm's mid-range 5G chipset is a pretty good chipset and is powerful enough to keep the phone running smoothly. And to add to that, the phone is 5G ready. As for the battery capacity, the phone sits a little bit on the low side. It only rocks a 2800 mAh battery and fast charging tops out at just 15 watts. It's unfortunate but understandable considering the limited space in the body. The Galaxy Z Flip also suffered from a lower than average battery capacity as well. That's just another thing you have to live with if you want to use a foldable phone. Once again, we currently have an engineering model, so we'll have to see how it stacks up performance-wise to other devices later on in our full review by Jamie. 
Motorola's return to the Philippines is with a bang thanks to this flagship foldable. There's plenty to like about this phone. The iconic razor design, this super useful 2.7-inch secondary display, as well as its 5G and folding capabilities. However, the lower resolution main display, non-flagship processor, as well as the seemingly weaker cameras might be a deal breaker for some. But we'll have to see how those features fare in our full review before we pass our full verdict. We have no pricing information on the Motorola Razr 5G as of yet, though in the US it's priced at $1,399, which is around 67,800 pesos in our currency. Alright guys, so watch out for the full review that is coming out very soon. We also have some articles on Unbox.ph, so check those out. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you enjoyed that video, hit the notification icon if you want to get them updates when we drop them videos. Once again, I am Charlotte Tontino, and I will see you guys in the next one.